Hi, this is Zach Mayer with the US Chart Breakers here at Zach's Traders Cafe for Friday the 19th of May. Starting off with the S&P, but we've actually had a decent breakout after all the uh, what, best part of a month or two actually uh, sidelining or si trading sideways uh, under that uh, resistance line from last August. Above that at 4150, we're looking for 4300 as soon as the end of next month and obviously that could at the moment be a bit uh, sooner in terms of its uh, ETA given the clean breakout so far. Moving on to uh, firm holdings, and here you can see that uh, we had a trend line break there back in uh, the end of March. Uh, so I suppose the shares couldn't get through the 50-day moving average uh, in April, but managed to do it earlier this month. And now it looks as though we're on our way. And uh, the view now is that uh, we could be heading to for a you know, decent uh, upside here for the shares. So uh, a resistance line projection target as high as $27 over the next couple of months, especially while we remain above the initial May resistance around $13. Initial target, obviously, at the 200-day line at $16.20. Maybe some people would be waiting for that to be cleared properly. But the view at the moment is that above 13, looking for 27 over the next one to two months. A uh, stock which uh, has uh, delivered a decent performance this week is uh, Al um, Alamira. And uh, here you can see that we've had a gap higher above the 50-day uh, moving average. Uh, the key here is that we hold above uh, the April resistance area, pre-gap higher resistance area, around $2.20. Above that, we're looking for the 200-day moving average at $3.77 as soon as the end of next month. Moving on to another winner over the uh, last uh, 24 hours or so, we've got uh, Enveric Biosciences, and it's that classic a gap through the 50-day moving average. That means uh, what leaves us looking for a target in line with the resistance line and projection I'm uh, drawing at the moment. So obviously that was uh, yesterday's resistance. It's interesting how well that fits. And we've got a triangle turnaround here, so a triangle base. And the view now is that while we're above resistance on the way down around $2.80, we're heading for a retest of the uh, peak yesterday as uh, as high as uh, $4.49 or even $5 by the end of next month. If we're really lucky, we'll stay above the 200-day uh, line, currently at uh, $3.30 on an end-of-day close basis. One of the stocks which has been featuring here quite regularly is uh, Guardforce AI. And uh, here, rather rough ride, but it looks as though we have the base in place for the time being anyway we're at five dollars and above and the initial move here obviously to try and uh, retest resistance on the way down around uh, the eight dollar fifty level hopefully by the end of next month moving along to uh, stock which may be slightly less painful than the last one gsi technology here we've got what looks to be a mid-move consolidation so uh, decent close yesterday and that leaves us looking for the top of the uh, broadening triangle that's been in place since July as high as uh, $7.50 as soon as the end of next month. Ideally, we stay above the $5 area, which is basically the middle of that consolidation area. 50 and 200 day moving averages both rising at the moment, so they're heading for a golden cross, it were implied golden cross, and the run up to a golden cross tends to be the strongest part of the cycle. We've got a big name uh, to, for the next uh, situation, Netflix, just worth looking at that. Looks as though after all the negative uh, moaning and groaning about to the prospects for the company, the shares are actually uh, delivering a breakout. Rising trend channel here from back in October. And the uh, target at the top of that channel as high as $4, uh, $460, uh, which could be seen over the next one to two months. And uh, that is valid certainly while we hold above uh, the uh, recent resistance or the pre-breakout resistance around the $350 level. So about $350, looking for $460 at Netflix. A new name coming up now, and uh, that is uh, Fire Pharmaceuticals. Uh, here we've got a bit of a rocky ride, but it's a failed gap, fill rebound. So we gapped uh, higher uh, earlier in the week and managed to close above the 50-day moving average. That leaves us looking for a uh, reasonable upside here probably up to uh, that resistance line projection from back in February and uh, obviously bouncing off the floor of that triangle formation that we've got there. Uh, the uh, Above the uh, recent resistance, as I said, $4.30, looking for as high as uh, $7.50 over the next four to six weeks and hopefully a bit sooner than that. One of the more frequent flyers in the US chart breakers is uh, Palantir. Here we've had another gap to the upside. We've broken our first target there, which was around $11.50. 
Above that, the next level up as high as $15 by the end of next month. So looking very good indeed. Uh, double gaps, uh, unfilled gaps to the upside in the recent past. Not sure the next stock could be quite as um, impressive as that, but we've got Southwest Energy, which looks like it's Southwestern Energy. looks like it's turning the corner here. Here you can see a trend line break uh, from back in January and above that. Around the $5.20 level, we're looking for the 200-day uh, moving average at $6 over the next two to four weeks. Just, just a couple of stocks to go now. First one is uh, Sound Hound AI. And uh, here we've had good consolidation. Didn't really uh, do much after the break of that resistance line there from back in February. But uh, at least we can say above the $2.40 area, we're looking for at least a retest of $3.30 plus, which is basically post March resistance for the shares. Finishing off with a uh, stock which has really done well over the uh, recent past. Upstart Holdings. Looks like it's uh, ready to break out further. We already hit our first target there around $21. Looking for the second target there near $30 as soon as the end of next month. And ideally much sooner. Bear Trap Gap reversal on that and rising 50-day uh, moving average as well. Powering the shares higher at the moment. That's it for me today. More updates over the weekend.